Hello, everyone. Our exploration of the World Series of Poker continues. We're still in one of the most eagerly awaited tournaments of the World Series, the $5,000 buy-in Six Max event. Close to 1,200 players are expected to take part, but so far only half that number has shown up as latecomers have all day to register. As for Mustafa Kanit, it's a good thing he arrived right at the start because a series of excellent hands enabled him to almost double his stack in the first two hours of play. So it's with comfortable wiggle room that we find our team pro at the start of the third level. Come on, Mus, let's keep attacking. Min raised from under the gun. I'm on the bottom, pocket fours. I think I can play this one. I have the four of hearts, that helps, but... Call the flop. He bet really small again. I don't think he bluff enough river when he misses and there is a lot of combo draws and draws generally so I call again. I check back. Oh, he wanted to mook and then he had a 5. Ay ay ay, that's poker. Maybe I could have torn it in a bluff. Same pair, different position. I call the small blind with pocket fours. Okay, this is uh, more spicy. Five, four, three, I flop a set. I can just check call or check raise, but I think uh, it's good to mix them up.
Now I have a decision. I can uh, check raise or uh, just check call hoping that he bets again. Also, there is Santosh from the big blind that he can keep falling with hands maybe that are quite dead against me. So, it's better to raise him. I, I go for 14 and a half thousand. You know, we have uh, good value, we want to deny him some equity and uh, get paid against the draws. And anyway, if he has something, he has probably... He's almost all in, so it's... Uh, I think he's a very good check raise. And he falls and I take the pot. Maybe I could have played different, slow play again, but I think uh, it was a fine move to make. Here, bottom. Yeah. Here, here. I call small blind, he called big blind. Yeah. <laughs> Santosh uh, raised under the gun We were called from cutoff On the big blind, 10-9 suited I, uh, Against them two, I decide just to call and play my equity Amazing flop for me uh, Flopped the uh, top two pair Uh, I think uh, the best is to check raise here with 10-9. He, I played with him a lot and he doesn't believe me too much. I played some crazy hands against him. And I decide to raise to 4200. Queen of Clubs is uh, not the best card in the deck, but still, still a good card for me. Often he has hands like Ace 10, King 10. I have to bet here. Uh, I think 60 to 80 percent pot is a good sizing, and I decide to do seven and a half thousand around 60 percent. I don't expect him to found him with jack 8 at all. Maybe sometimes he have king jack.
He's folding. One year on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I bet flop and he calls it the jack eye and we good. These guys are too dumb. What the fuck am I doing here? Eating your creme brulee. With some new friends. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully. Finally, a nice one to play. I have aces, black aces. Oh wow, what a dream. Uh, he looked quite strong when he did it, to be fair. I think, uh, you know, normally you could flat call here, but it feels like he has it. I think I can just forbet him. Much easier to get all the money in. And you know, it's not really a situation where uh, you pick up so many bluffs under the gun against big blind with his deepness. So I probably I'm gonna just forbat and cooler all the hands I have to pre-flop. It's uh, so hard to fold against me, a hands like queens, jacks, kings in this situation. Because I, at the same time, I can have a lot of, a lot, I have bluffs in this situation. But uh, honestly, it just, it just feels like he has something, especially for how he was playing quite tight, selecting good his spots just feels like he's not, you know, making 6.5k from the big blind with nothing. Not the type of player, at least. Please, jam. Please, all in. Please. It's your time. Do it. Yes. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, pocket queens. Another big one. That feels good. Then what a player. What a player. Grazie. Easy. Not easy, you need to hold. It's never easy to hold. It's never easy. <laughs> It's not easy for coming years is so. <laughs> it's never easy. You know this game. Yeah. You have too many chips right now. 
two minutes. Okay. You need to shut the fuck up and go to your table, okay? Fucking guy. Just figure out how to eat your fucking creme brulee and leave us alone. <laughs> Don't know. Huh? And the players all in. Mm -hmm. Hey, Deuce. Hey, Deuce. Like Thank you. We lost a hard cookie. He plays good. I like him. Nice guy. Two seats, 84. Re raise. Another new gun. Played with him. I played with him. <laughs> uh, you don't have? Okay. Sorry. King Queen. A standard raise. Right. Santos called the button. He calls quite wide. Everybody in, four way. It's a good flop for me. I think I can uh, start to bat. There is good value to be taken. Three people call. Three players. The deuce of diamond is not the best for me. Someone of them could be drawing. I don't have a diamond. Uh, I think it's a good situation to put control. My hand is still strong enough. Okay, I think now I can value bet against them too. I don't expect them to raise me often, but uh, at the same time, check calling keeps the hand very, very easy without putting me in tough situations. Okay, well. I was waiting for you. <laughs> I was waiting for you. <laughs> you know, in Italy we say, I I stamp you in the chair, you know? <laughs> it's a situation where also Santos, you know, if he has like Queen Jack, Queen Ten, and this sort of hands, he can bluff the rivers. I'm, I'm fine with yeah, the check. Like, uh, could it go both ways? Try, try left, try. Massage. <laughs> 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 oh, with boob. Italy number one. With boobs, boobs, boobs. Huh? Boob massage, boob. <laughs> 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 I love uh, these sort of hands with this deepness, King Jack suited, King Queen suited, King Ten suited. Uh, Tony joined the action. I, uh, I know him from years. He's a g good player from the States. So, three way to the flop. Wow, that's a, that's a nice one. Top pair, four diamonds. So let's start to put some money in the pot. 
I bet 2000, around half pot. Not the best card, but at the same time I think we can still get some value. Same time I can check back some sometimes, but uh, our hand is so good. It's been a really good day so far. I flop a lot of good hands and just a good feeling. I raised pocket air at 8th. I can go both ways, a uh, small bet or a check. I think against them it's easier to small bet. I don't expect to receive many check raises. The bottom calls so wide, so I think makes the hands just easier. This is a very interesting card. I can barrel as a bluff or uh, just check and keep it very easy. Okay, I'm not so happy about this bet, but uh, at the same time you can still have a lot of spades, some random floating, uh, the 7 should be good for me, so I check call. Three. Three thousand, he said three, yeah. yeah. He said three, then... <laughs> Not the best of rivers. Check. Pocket eight. Yeah, he has the flash. Flash, flash wins. Nothing you can do. You got lucky on the river. Oh, I think uh, I played a good hand. Five players with 5k, 6 backs, 15 minute break, 15 minute break. break. In the good stick. timing for the break. Buongiorno. Como está, fratello? Todo bom, todo bom. E você? Tudo bem. Aqui nós podemos falar português um pouco. Um pouco sim, eu gosto. Eu vou aprender mais sim. com você. Como está a sua mesa? Muito bonito, muito bonito. A minha não está bonita. Tenho 160. At my table. Eu colerei todo todo a mesa. Todo a mesa? Sim. <risos> é, não, colerei. É, um, um senhor uh, me blefou uh, todo e eu tinha acordo. <risos> Foi depois. Gotcha. Miss Deal. Basta dar a carta e o Under the Gun. Aço, aço. Três. Tudo Miguel, tudo Miguel. Oh, bom dia. É, big Blind, Three Bet. Pero depois eu lo forbetei blanco. Sim. Sí. Lo, tri, lo tribetei small contra big. Tinha como. Pensava que estava louco. Sim. Sí. Eu forbetei 14. É o lindo, as damas. <risos> Oh, yeah. what a present. How do you say gift? And no gift, he had the queens. No, see. Si. But uh, yeah. But como se habla, uh, how do you say that in Italy? Regalo. Regalo. Como Regalo. In Spain? Regalo. Regalo. 
he had queens right now. Yeah, but I know he had. I, I know he had it, you know. Otherwise, yeah. I just call. But I knew he had it. Anyway, todo bom. Vou para fumar. Ciao. Io sono là, 84. Oh, dai. Oh, how are you? Good luck, bro. Good, good, good. I'm a bel calamusa. Uh, what? I'm a, oh, you study well over there with the coffee? I'm the coffee, yeah. You're the coffee? I'm the yeah, coffee. I like the coffee stack. <laughs> I'm I the, like coffee. the coffee stack. <laughs> Yalla. All right, dealing with the six backs, we're coming back three, six, six, shuffle up a deal, three, six, six. King Queen, uh, and the gun raise. It's uh, I respect this player a lot. He's a good player. I decide just to call to you know keep uh, some of the weaker player in, and you know it's a good hand to play heads up or three way King Queen. King A3 is a really good flop for uh, for me. I think I can go both ways, check back and, you know, trap a bit. Found equity and found value in the other streets. bet uh, around 40% pot. I think uh, I can go both ways. Here as well I can raise for value or just call, uh, waiting for him to bluff many rivers. And they're both fine. Raise uh, is really good because, you know, there is so many hands he cannot fold, like, you know, flash draws, both some straight draws, sometimes he has even combo draws. Uh, it's very hard to put me into this hand, so it's quite tricky. And uh, I always like to have hands that theoretically I cannot have in the spot, because, uh, you know, put your opponent to make a mistake sometimes. Here, I, the only thing I'm not really happy if he raised back, but honestly, it's so rare that happens in these situations, and I underwrap my hand a lot, so I'm very happy for how I played these hands. It's, uh, you know, when you play poker, it's, it's important not to be linear, Ari, and uh, found different ways to play hands, be tricky, flat sometimes with aces, or like, uh, check back uh, strong hands because then they help you to develop you know a deeper strategy and like n not be face up in some situations that otherwise you will be
10 lines looted from this mall. I can go both ways, but I think I just call for how I'm playing now. I don't expect the big blind to squeeze often. And he's a hand with a very good flop equity, you know, when he flops, flops hands really strong. And I just need to be smart and avoid to lose a lot of money with like the tricky top pairs or like uh, the, the hard boards. So I flop uh, a flash draw and uh, a gut shot is a good flop for me. I jack a bet 2600 and I can check raise or just check call. Uh, I think check calling is fine. You know, I will play most kings this way, like king queen, king jack and hands like this. Uh, I'm capable to just check call like pocket force or a hand similar and I'm happy to go to to a turn. Turn I made a flash that is uh, one of the best cards I can see of course. Everybody check. I think uh, I have a clear value bet. Uh, I don't want to bet too big, but I think something like one third pot. Uh, sometimes I bet a bit bigger, like eight or nine, but I don't think they have any flash. I want to get paid from a king. And a small bet, I think it's. It make them also very curious and to call me quite wide. There is a, a few misses, you know, like Jack 10 miss. I could have Ace Jack or, or just the Ace of Diamond, like Ace Jack with Ace of Diamond, Ace 10 with Ace of Diamond, and try to bluff. And, uh, you know, they are uh, both really curious. I played with them a lot. And I don't. I think it's, it's a good bet to to find some extra value here on the river. I don't expect them both to call me. That would be very nice. Yeah, they both mook. Really good, really good. Really good sizing. Let's go. I'm up to 181,000 after this hand. It's been a really good day one so far. Thank you. Nothing to fault there, Mustafa. That's some great work. Good hands, good flops, good setups. A smooth ride through and through. Your stack has been climbing steadily since the start of this $5,000 six max event. As a result, you're entering the second half of day one among the chip leaders and with over 300 big blinds. We'll be there with you very soon in the next episode of Inside the Mind of a Pro.